Okay, we're gonna talk more about the sympathetic nervous system response or that fight or flight reaction. Now, what is that? It's the reaction that when you are threatened by something in the environment, you react in certain ways. Now these are, we know what these reactions are because we go through them every time we're threatened by something or we go into this autonomic nervous system response. I'm not gonna cover everything, but I'm gonna cover what my, my students need to know for the class and the tests. Okay, first of all, your blood pressure is going to go up. A few things happen when your blood pressure goes up. Um, you might feel more energized, you might feel more, um, you might feel pain, you might feel, um, you might feel good. Some people feel good when their blood pressure goes up if they have a little bit of low blood pressure. Um, your skin will get cold and you might get a, and look at that, it's like Star Star Trek or Star Wars. Oh. Your skin might get cold, you might feel a chill. What's happening there is the blood is basically going from your skin um, and, and it's, it's going into your muscles. And it's getting ready to, to run if you have to run. So you might get a, a chill, flush feeling. Um, the other thing that happens um, that I want my class to know about is um, and this is really, really important. Oh, your pupils will dilate. They're gonna open up really big so they can get a lot of light and so they can see. Um, your, and this is really important, your ability to focus on small tasks, detailed tasks, math problems, studying, is going to decrease. Okay, so the ability to focus on small tasks starts to decrease. So you want to see the, the forest and miss the trees. You don't want the details. You are in energy, energetic mode. Now, this is called crisis mode. When people are in crisis mode, they don't see small details. They get things done. People that are in professions like uh, hotel restaurant management, some sales professionals, um, tend to be really good at this fight or flight reaction. However, it often really... Uh, OR nurses, emergency um, operating room, emergency room professionals, uh, police, firemen. One issue that those professionals have, and this is important for um, IO psych students or um, anyone interested in working with professionals, um, is they can be very good at managing crisis and emergencies, but when it comes to managing day-to-day uh, -day activities in their lives, um, it can be a challenge. Um, for, for a variety of reasons. It can also happen with combat veterans that we all heard it, we've all heard about this. Adjusting back to civilian life once you've had those intense experiences is particularly difficult and it often requires a very um, skilled counselor who is an expert in that particular field. So that is the um, parasympathetic nervous system response. Also, your digestion will stop or it will decrease and your immune system functioning will go down. Those are not really essential um, processes um, in the body. When you are threatened by uh, a bear or a snake or, or um, a catastrophe or you have to run out of a situation, none of that is, is necessary um, when you have to escape and that survival is necessary. So, you know, sometimes our body just says homeostasis or maintaining that balance means survival. So right now I have to get out of the situation or just be as quiet as possible, but still be alert, still be alert. So that is the autonomic nervous system response. Um, several other things happen, but for, for my class, um, that's um, basically most of what you need to know. Okay, so we'll see you later. Take care, bye.